hi guys welcome back to my channel do you guys like my new setup i love it <laughs> i love it even though i wish my chair was higher but i love it anyway i'm not on the ground i'm actually on a chair but it's a very low chair anyway so yesterday i saw this video by baby bad bad moss funny enough it's easier for me to pronounce baby than baby um you guys she's a mommy youtuber you guys should please go and follow her she does interesting content and you know tells her about her life as a working mom and a mom of a beautiful daughter a wife and all of that okay okay uh, she's going to drink water i don't even know why i'm ready whenever i won't start if i don't the the yes i use a straw whenever i have lipstick or lips, lip gloss on so i saw a video she posted yesterday i didn't even comment on that video because i watched it on my tv the title of the video is truth is i'm broke and can't afford most things anymore yeah finally telling her truth anyway um yeah when i saw that video i wanted to comment i, I will still make that comment if i have the time share or if i remember i wanted to comment on the video and say like i really get you sis like i really understand what you are saying like i don't know if this uh, economy now is not touching you uh, you better thank your God. You better thank your God. And the funny thing is, when I was with Tatcha, I was like, you're not, you're not broke in Jesus' name because I don't like saying I'm broke or things like that, okay? So, I'm not broke in Jesus' name, okay? I can't relate. I cannot relate. I, I'm, I'm full of riches and glory. <laughs> anyway, I don't like saying that I'm broke, but I can understand what she's talking about, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that it is me in particular like it doesn't mean that i cannot survive right it doesn't mean that i need to really change my lifestyle drastically because of me it doesn't mean that right but what it means is that i now understand or i'm now more uh, sympathetic towards other people right towards my family members towards other people, even towards myself. Let me not even remove myself because I'm going through it as well. I, I told you guys in a previous video how this year, my finances have just gone like almost nosedive. Like, even though I can kind of explain it, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I don't understand. What, what is all this? You know, so, uh, but I'm now, I'm now at the position where she was talking about in the video how, how does somebody who earns 100K feed and the person has family and children. I'm not a single person. No. The person has family and children. And I'm like, 100K, is that not a baller? Someone earning 100K in this country, is, not, is it not a baller? People are earning 50K, 20K, 25K, 30K. That's what a, a family man is earning. You know, the wife will be doing something on the side, but all their income joined together. You know, pass, you know, pass 100K, right? That's everybody joined together, right? So how are those people coping? One thing that has happened in this post-Buhari era is that... A lot of people have been sent into abject poverty. Now, they were poor before, but now they are in abject poverty. Now, the ones that were middle class before, they are now poor. The ones that were rich before, they are now middle class. That's if anything like that even exists. Then, the ones that were mega rich before, they are now rich. Now, funny enough is, in all these things that I'm saying, some people actually flew from abject poverty to rich. Some people flew from middle class to mega rich, okay? But those are like few cases. I'm talking about the majority of people we are downgraded. It doesn't matter who you are, what business you do, or what job you do. Everybody was downgraded, whether we like it or not, okay? And why I'm saying whether we like it or not is because in my own instance, even though I was earning less, okay, I've been earning less, I earned less this year than, than I ever did. Even though I was earning less and things were becoming more expensive, I was trying hard to maintain the same lifestyle. Even as at now, we haven't really changed our lifestyle drastically. Like, we still eat the same things we are eating. We still buy the same things we were buying. We still use, in fact, we, to this year, I even spent more. In the year that I even earned less, and my husband, well, my husband earned, you know, basically almost the same. But in a year where I earned less, I spent more. And me spending more, I'm debating now, but me spending more, I even see it as a positive thing, okay? Thank God. We decided to renovate this house when we did. Mind you, if, if some people had listened to me, we would have done this thing last year. In fact, I've been pushing for this thing since last year. Eventually, after all the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, my husband agreed to do it, you know, this year. Now, if we hadn't done this when we did it, right? Imagine trying to do it now. That dollar is now 800 naira. Fuel is now uh, 1,000. I mean, how much is fuel safe? I don't even know, to be honest. But fuel is now very expensive. 
lights, they've increased the tariff for lights. Tomato, it's like, <laughs> who are you to be eating tomato? Like, who do you think you are? Uh, meat, chicken, fish, everything is now times three of the price, not even double. Double, uh, if it's double, would have been happy now. Times three of the price, okay, all the things we used to buy before. So imagine if we hadn't renovated this house when we renovated it. And mind you, it wasn't that long ago. And now, dollar is now 800 naira as of today. And things are now very, very expensive. Anyway, so the fact that I spent more money, as much as I know that, ah, it really took a lot from our pocket. We actually did those things at the right time, okay? Or, well, not the right time. If they had done it when, they said that, when I said that we should have done it, okay? If they had agreed to do it when I wanted, we would have done it for way less than we paid when we eventually did it. But anyway, when we did it, it was not too late. So, as much as that was happening, I was also trying hard to maintain the same lifestyle, okay? Maintain the same lifestyle. I was even telling my husband, oh, we have to increase, you know, salary. That's the money he gives me monthly. We, he has to increase it because things are now very, very expensive and I don't want to be joining my money. <laughs> I always join my money somehow. I don't intend to join my money, but somehow, somehow, I used to join my money because I don't keep proper account. I'm not like him that has everything written down to the T. I don't keep proper accounting. I spend from here, I spend from there. So I can't really tell whether I'm joining my money or not or how much I'm joining, if I'm even actually joining, I don't know. All I know is that every month, the money he gives me plus my salary, everything used to finish, okay? So we need to reevaluate. But anyway, yeah, I've, I've already said telling him that he has even increased some of the, some of the um, money he gives me, right? And then he has some things he now buys by himself or he just, you know, adds, buys without even, you know, collecting the money back from me. Because before, how we see this in this house is, the things I'm supposed to buy, if he buys them, I'll give him money for it. If, if there are things he's supposed to buy and I buy them, he will give me back the money, right? But this year, we've been very lax on that thing because I'm sure he understands that things are now very expensive. But anyway, so I was thinking of how, oh, I'm going to tell him to go and increase, you know, the monthly money. But I don't have to stop myself and say, wait, though. Yes, he's going to definitely increase it, right? That one is not even negotiable or whatever in case he's watching. We are not negotiating that one. He has to increase it. But at the same time, at what rate are we going to be increasing? Am I going to be increasing every month? Because mind you, dollar last month is not dollar this month, right? And dollar affects a lot of things in Nigeria, which it shouldn't, but it does, right? Dollar last month is not dollar this month. So, is it that every month now, I will telling him, add 50k, add 100k, add 200, add 300. Is that how we're going to be doing it? So, I just have to tell myself the truth. And the truth of the matter is that the way things are going right now, while we pray to God, you know, for more earnings, for, you know, open doors, more business opportunities, <clears throat> more career opportunities, more growth, more prosperity, everything. As, long as, we are, as much as we are praying to God for that, we also have to face what is facing us right now. And we have to cut down on some things, okay? I have to just tell myself that truth. We have, I have to cut down on some things. It's not like before. Okay, it's not, it's not like before. Before, I've been trying so hard to just keep buying things where I used to buy. Like, I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not among the people that are going to suffer. I always used to say that you will be voting for who you are voting for. I'm not going to follow you people and suffer. And the truth is that, even as I'm saying all these ones, I'll still not follow you people and suffer. For those of you that are just somewhere thinking you have one, you have no one. No? I'm not going to follow you and suffer. <laughs> it goes shock you. Anyway, um, back to what I was saying, <laughs> I now realize that, okay, I have to cut down on some things. Now, cutting down on some things is not the basics, so I'm not cutting down on the basics. There are some things that I have worked, I've worked so hard, or we both have worked so hard that we cannot cut down on some things. Like, it doesn't make sense to cut down on some things, okay? I, I cannot come and be filming video morning to night, editing video, sleeping, this one, doing this one, him traveling for work all the time, you know, not being around, hustling, and doing everything that he does only for me to not come and remove some certain things that I consider basics. Um, back while, we're not removing those ones, okay? But some of those extra things that not necessarily add much to our life, I've decided I'm going to just cut them down. One of those things is snacks, okay? And it's not even just because of this issue that I cut down snacks in my house. There are so many other things that happened that made me just remove snacks from my house. One of them is Eva's teeth and, you know, my health because somehow I can't, I don't have self-control. 
I have self-control in Jesus' name. But somehow, I, do, I just, whenever I have snacks around the house, I don't know, I, I find it hard to control myself from eating those things. So, and you guys can see how I am now. Anyway, so because of that, I had to remove snacks from this house. Then Eva Steve, and then my children's behavior generally, I felt like they were becoming too attached to snacks, okay? They were becoming too attached. Like every time they want to eat something, every time they want to eat something. So I had to remove all that. Okay, now am I still buying snacks? Yes, I'm still buying snacks, but what we're buying now is just grapes, apples. They are not cheap, but they are a better alternative and they're not as expensive as the other ones simply because how many apples you want chop now? How many? Like, chop now? How many do you want to eat? But when it comes to all those other, you know, snacks we used to buy before, they can eat a whole, in fact, drink a whole carton of something and they will not feel bad, right? But now, it's either you drink water. Or you leave your mouth like that, okay? If your mouth is paining you, you go and drink water. I also make um, um, homemade juice, okay? So I make juice for them sometimes. I still buy juice for them. It's not like I don't buy like no juice at all in my house. I still buy once in a while, but it's now once in a while. It's not like before that I'll be ordering, I'll be I'll go to supermarket and carry four cartons of juice, five cartons of juice. No, it's not like that again. Right now, I've I've removed juice entirely from their diet. Once in a while, they just get juice. Maybe we go out or something, they might get juice, but it's not something we buy monthly again. Then what else? I'm also going to go back to buying things in bulk. I want to try that for a few more months and see how it goes. I want to try buying things in bulk. Not even just because of the price difference, but just that, just to avoid going to market all the time. Because one thing that happens with me and going to market is because I go to market all the time, I buy the one nobody sends me. I buy the one I'm not supposed to buy. I buy things I don't, I don't need. I see things that, oh... Maybe you are not planning, even, even when I go to supermarkets, okay? Maybe I wasn't even planning to buy, let's say, this particular cereal. But I will not see it two for the price of one or 10% off or 20% off. I will not buy cereal that I wasn't even supposed to buy in the first place. It's not like they don't have cereal. It's not like we even take this cereal on normal day. But because I've always wanted to buy this and now it's on sale, let me buy. You know, so um, people abroad, they, they, their own is easier for them because they can just place their order, and then the order is delivered to them, okay? I don't know if we have such services in Nigeria. Even if we have in Nigeria, I'm, I'm sure it's Lagos. I'm not sure about Port Harcourt. But, you know, because of it, I've decided that I'm going to buy things in bulk. So, any day I'm going to market to buy things in bulk, I know that I'm going to market to buy things in bulk, and I'll go to a market that is not so pleasant, maybe like my own market, so that when I buy them, I'll just be, my mind will just be on, let me just go home. I won't have time to be strolling around next and be looking for what is not looking for me, or, or you know, different of my market, <laughs> or spa, <laughs> spa, or shop rides. I'm be looking for what is not looking for me. I'll just go to market, buy what I need, and drop it in the house, and that's it, okay? Um, yeah, so, basically, I really understood what she was saying in that video. You guys should go and watch the video. I'm trying not to say much of what she said in the video, so you guys can watch it. But go and watch that video. You, you realize that <laughs> it's hitting everybody, yo. It's hitting everybody. You have to just be vigilant. You have to just... And now is also the time to get creative, okay? Like I said initially, some people have jumped from poor to very rich right in this same period where everybody's lamenting and crying some people their their fortune has just changed things have changed for them overnight drastically it's either they were aligned in the right direction with you know the new government or whatever or they hit it big with something that you know people need or something so my point is that as much as you know things are going down things are are now expensive everything is people need to cut down and all of that you have to also look for the opportunity in it, okay? That's just it. Me, I'm trying to look for the opportunity in this whole thing. I don't know what the opportunity is yet, but I know that God is going to show me what will make me hammer the hammer that I'm going to hammer, okay? I always keep saying it. I'm going to hammer the hammer that I'm going to hammer. Hey! And when I hammer that hammer, all of you are going to know. The first thing, straight, that build house for my mom. That's, that's just it. I'm putting it out there in case anybody's interested in <laughs> helping me. I need, to, I need to go and build a house for my mom. My parents, okay? I don't know I keep saying my mom. I see if my father is not there. Okay, I, want to, I need to build a house for my parents. Um, let us all remember that we need to pray for this country, okay? Pray for this country. Pray for, pray for your family members. Pray for your friends. You don't know what's going on in people's houses. You don't know how people are surviving this period. Pray for your friends. Pray for your friends that are in schools abroad. I heard that now tuition is not like... Um, uh, how much extra? 60% more expensive. Because of the dollar unification and all of that, I heard that school fees is now very expensive. You know, and mind you, income is not increasing in many of these cases, though, okay? Um, yeah, so just pray for the country, pray for your friends, pray for your family and friends. And if you have, okay, if you have a lot, look for who to give, okay? If you know that 
this economy is not touching you, things are not, you don't care, you have so much money to spend. Look for who to give, okay? Me, right now, I'm looking for who will give me. <laughs> but I'm also looking for who to give, okay? I've said that uh, I'm going to, anyway, let me go to this of what I decided to do, but yeah, look for who to give, look for who to help, look for how to help. Declutter your house, declutter your house, okay? I was looking at some things yesterday because I was sorting out my things yesterday and I was like, looking at some things and I was like, some of these things here have got to go, okay? I need to just... I have a bag already that I'm packing just to send to the village that has, you know, some things inside it. But I need to add more. I need to add more. There's hunger in the land. People are hungry. People are tired. People are suffering. Okay? Some of you, you are the government that people know. You are the angel that people know. You are the help that people know, okay? You are praying to God for 100 million. Somebody is beside you crying and praying to God for, for 1 million, for, for 100,000. Okay? So... You, and you, you have like 50 million in your account. You are praying to God for 100. But somebody is just praying for 1 million. Okay, so carry 1 million and give the person. Let the person relax. <laughs> let the person relax. Answer the person's prayer. So that God will answer your own prayer. You know, so, yeah, that's it. That's all I came to say in today's video. I wasn't even planning to make this kind of video. But I just watched her video yesterday. That it's not easy. People are suffering. Um, this year, I was supposed to go on vacation. I remember beginning of this year, I was planning that I'm going on three vacations. I'm going one with my friends. I'm going for one with my family. I'm going for one with me by myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, my dear, August don't reach. My birthday is in August. <laughs> August don't they reach. I'm not going for any of them yet. And that's because, well, it's not just because of money for those cases. I They bounced my visa, okay? And let me tell you, when they bounced my visa, I won't give you details, but just know that I was denied visa to one of the countries I was supposed to go to, right, right? When they denied my visa, I felt so insulted. I was like, you would think that I would live my comfortable life here and go and be hustling in your country. Like, you would really think that I want to escape from Nigeria and this is your country I'll, I'll go to. It pains me. <laughs> it pains me. I was like, eh? Small nash de sheko. I'm even coming to, to come and spend the money in your country. And you would feel like, I cannot afford this. Like, I want to jack back. Is it that if, if I want to Japan, I will go through the right means, okay? I'm not, I'm not here for that suffering, suffering issue. I'm not here for that suffering. If I really want to Japan, I will go through the right means. And I will Japan the right way, okay? But I'm not even planning to Japan or anything. I just want to come to your country for vacation and shopping. And you're denying me visa. Who do you think you are? Like, this thing pained me, eh? But again, as much as it pained me, I was like, they're even helping me to save my money now. If I think I needed to buy, I'll just look for you know people in Nigeria that sell it and I'll buy it. But it's not like it's not even just the buying thing, okay? I wanted to you know have the experience, be, go to that country for the first time, you know, have the experience, go with my friends, we just have you know girls trip and all of that. But as you know, can't work now. Here I am. Did I die? I did not die. You can see me. I'm still living pretty, okay? <laughs> But anyway, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why I'm talking like someone that is high. I feel like I'm talking like someone that is high, that is drunk. Anyway, I have things to go and do. Anyway, let me know in the comments section how things have been for you guys. How are you guys coping? What are the coping, coping mechanisms that you guys are, you know, um, adopting to help you go through these hard times? Because these are hard times. And let me break it to you. If you're not in Christ... Times are gonna get harder for you, okay? I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you think this is the worst that it has gotten, buckle up, okay? Because you are in for a ride. It is going to get worse for people of the world. Bible talk, um, you know, might as even say Bible talk himself. If you look at the trends, if you look at the way things are going in this life, if you look at who we have in government, if you look at how things went in Nigeria, just know that things are getting tougher, okay? So you need to buckle up, you need to know your God, okay? You need to you need to work harder, you need to open your eyes for opportunities, okay? Um, and for those of you that might want to come and remind me that I said I said I was going to leave if Peter B does not win. Did anybody tell you that Peter B did not win? Did you see it written anywhere that Peter B did not win? Okay? So don't come and remind me that, oh, but you said that, uh -huh, and so I said it, and Peter B won. So whether he's in government or not, it's not the issue. Because he's going to get there, okay? He's eventually going to get there. I'm not in denial. That's the fact. And when, he's, he, when he eventually gets there, I'm going to make another video. And we're going to talk about it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm acting, I'm acting drunk. I'm not even drunk. I'm hungry. So. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.